Hi, I am Achikir Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome back to my channel. Here I upload couple of accounting tutorials weekly. Today our topic is limited company account. So here today I am going to show you how to calculate the number of bonus shares issued. Let's get started. Okay, uh, today to calculate the number of bonus shares issued, we will follow a question which is taken from Cambridge Level Accounting first paper. Okay, so let us have a look at the question on the screen. C Limited's statement of financial position at 31st December 2020 is shown with the comparative figures at 31st December 2019. Okay. So here you see in the question a comparative balance sheet means statement of financial position is given here and on the left side the column is for 2020 31st December and on the right side we have information here for 2019 31st December okay. So two years information is given here side by side okay. Now let us have a look at the question once again. The following information is also available. The company's issued capital consists of ordinary shares of 0.25 each. That means the price of ordinary share okay, is 0.25. Okay. This is the value of per share. Okay. So per share. Great. Number two on 1st January 2020. The directors revalued the property upwards by $300,000. Okay. Number three, there were no purchase of disposal. Okay, this is not relevant. Number four, on 1st July 2020, the directors made a bonus share issue on ordinary shares. Okay. So on 1st July 2020, the directors uh, decided to issue bonus share. Okay. So it is 2020. Okay, then number five here. There are no other changes in sheer capital during the year. Okay, so here, if you notice, so here we see the ordinary share capital in 2020, it is eighteen hundred thousand dollars, and in nineteen, two thousand nineteen, it is twelve hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so here nineteen it was. Twelve hundred thousand dollars, okay. But in twenty, it is eighteen hundred thousand dollars, okay. So see, in twenty, it is increased by six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. So what does it mean? It means that if there is no any changes in share capital, that means company issued bonus share. That is the reason. The amount of share capital means ordinary share capital had been increased by how much? 600,000. Yeah, so increases here 600,000 dollars. Okay, so this is actually amount of bonus share. Okay, so now what is our requirement here? Calculate the number of bonus shares issued on 1st July 2020. Okay, so on 1st July 2020. What is the number of bonus shares issued by the company? We have to calculate. Okay, so we got some information here. We have share ordinary share price twenty five cents per uh, per share. Okay, nineteen capital was twelve hundred thousand. Twenties capital was eighteen hundred thousand, and it is increased by six hundred thousand. Okay, now let us write here amount of bonus share. Amount of bonus share issued. Okay, so what is the what is the amount here? We know in 2020, ordinary share capital is 1800,000 dollars. Okay, and in 19, in the question, ordinary share capital was 1200,000 dollars. Okay, now. If we subtract what you get, we get here the total amount of bonus share is $600,000. Okay, so this is the amount of bonus share, total amount of bonus share. But we have to calculate the number of bonus shares issued by this business. Okay, so now what to do? 
we have to write here number of bonus share equal to bonus shares issued equal to what we get here we have we know the price per share price per share okay and we got the amount of bonus share that means total amount of bonus share okay so here we have total amount of bonus share is six hundred thousand dollars okay and the price per share is here it is 0 0.25 dollars okay so let us write here 0 0.25 dollars okay now if we simplify what you get it is 2400 thousand shares okay so this is the number of bonus shares company issued okay so this is a quick lesson i hope you enjoyed and you understood this lesson if you think that this video is helpful for you please share with your friends and please consider subscribing to my channel because there are other so many accounting tutorials those will help you to learn accounting to understand accounting for your exam or test okay so i'll see you soon with new video until then Bye-bye and take care.